Scripture Basics Part 23. Today's installment is God's gift, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. We are spiritual beings living in a physical world that have spiritual needs. The word of God is the only place to deal correctly with our spiritual needs. And the teaching intention, keeping a sharp sword sharp in your life. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, King James Version. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. New Living Translation says that verse this way, God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you cannot take credit for this. It is a gift from God. The message version of Ephesians 2.8, now God has us where he wants us. With all the time in this world and the next to shower grace and kindness upon us in Christ Jesus. Saving is all his idea and all his work. All we do is trust him enough to let him do it. It's God's gift from start to finish. Now this verse is telling us our salvation comes from God's special favor alone. It was appropriated when people believed. However, least anyone should think that belief is a necessary work that must be performed in order to receive salvation, Paul added that people cannot take credit for believing, for it too is a gift from God. Paul is firm that absolutely nothing is of our own doing, not salvation, not grace, not even the faith exercise to receive salvation. Instead, everything is the gift of God. Salvation does not come from our, from our self-reliance or individualism, but from God's initiative. It is a gift to be thankfully accepted. It is a gift to be thankfully accepted. Please read Romans chapter 3, 24 to 28, verse 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 29 to 31, and Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. We've come to the end of this installment. For this and other scripture teaching, check out youtube.com channel Minister Herbert Pankey. If you like the material, please hit the subscribe button for the channel. Remember, keep that sword sharp. Thanks and God bless.